Hey guys and welcome back to TEW2020, this is our Local 2 Global. If you missed the last episode, we are Classic Championship Wrestling. This is our roster with Ace Steel, Adam Flash, Amy Lee, Billy Dalton, Booker T, Shira Rusa, Dutch Savage, Fantasia, Hideki Hosaka, Jeannie Basson, Jeannie Clark, Jerry Lynn, John Cronus, John Paul, Lisa Moretti, Perry Sad, Rick Savage, Scorpio Jr., Steve Deebs, Terry Powell, The Patriot, Todd Olson, Tom Brandy, Tom Stone, Tommy Seabolt, Tony Adams, That's Us, The Unknown Booker, Vito Lagracio, and Woman. Now, we'll go over our last show quick. We had Hideki Hosaka open the show against Tom Stone. Then Jeannie Passan defeated Shara Rusa. We had Woman come out, the newly teamed up Perry Saturn and John Cronus, who then went on to defeat Adam Flash and John Paul. Booker T beat up Tommy Seabot and then him and his manager cut a scathing promo. And the Patriot defeated Ace Steel. Now I need to go to my events and broadcasting. Availability. Yeah, I need to do Fridays. So let me just change this. Friday and Friday. Modify. Okay, let's skip forward. Okay, so again, let us know in the comments if you want to see all the news every time, or if you want us to just do the highlights. This is mainly just WCW. Again, TV shows. Chris Kurtz taking control. New Hood Booker from Mexico. Nothing really of importance. Angel of Death. Yeah, no really important stuff is. So again, let us know if you want us to go like all over, or if you want us to just do any major, major highlights. Patriot's been injured. Chronic knee pain, yes, I remember. He can work through that though, right? Uh, medical. None has been worked through for two months. Alright. Ooh, Paul Roma. He might be someone that's interesting to bring in at some point. He's going to be expensive for now, but he could be a good hire. Did we put JT Smith on our shortlist? No, we didn't, but I like JT Smith. ECW alumni. Minoru Suzuki, the UWFI. Oh, there you go. Tony Adams and Chris Adams have been divorced. There goes the idea of ever bringing in Chris Adams. <laughs> Marinello, okay. Cactus Jack. Doesn't seem to be any more interesting news. Oh, I thought it said another relationship that hasn't. Paul Roman's been hired, Jack has been hired, JT Smith has been hired. So a lot of people we've got on our shortlist are getting picked up by people. Yeah, which isn't a bad thing. That's quite good. It means their stats are going to be up, which just also means they're going to be way more expensive. Violent J. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Should we bring in the Insane Clown Posse? We're not bringing in the Insane Clown Posse. There's no chance. No, 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 no. Got more chance of me bringing in Fake Sting. Nothing else there. Right, let's push on. Okay, W, do we have a new feud? We have Hulk Hogan and Ric Flair. We'll have Sergeant Slaughter. What we'll do is at the end of the month, we will check out all the... Uh... Oh, Rick Bruce taking over the Dangerous Lights. Awesome. Yeah, we will check the... Um... Like WCW and the New Japan and... Like the big, big companies. We're going to check their results just to see what's happening. CMML have seemed to have gone on a releasing spree, though. Wagner Jr. He would be awesome to bring in. He's only 26. We're going to watch him, just in case we, we... Like, if we can get a massive Mexican superstar to come in, that'd be awesome. Why have they released so many people, I wonder? Sandman is the new ECW champion, of course. This is before they were ECW. CML released Ultimate Dragon. 
Interesting. Oh, JT Smith's the new television champion. Awesome. I wonder why they've gone through and released so many people. Oh, it's DK. Doesn't happen in classic championships at wrestling, does it? Don't break your arm here. Oh, we have another relationship ending. We have El Trador and Gachi Bela. Personally, haven't heard of either of them. Giant Haystacks is still winning titles. That's awesome. Uh, any other decent news here? Stevie Ray. Oh, sorry, not Stevie Ray. Steve Ray. I read what I wanted to read there. Oh, good old Scott Hall's been injured by Ellie Gante, of all people. Suffered chronic back pain. Man, good old Ellie Gante. Okay, we are ready to book our second show. So, let's try and build some friendships here. Try and see if the Patriot. Oh, no. Cosmella has an extremely high chance of backfiring, making their relationship worse. Let's not do that, then. Um, can the Patriot become friends with anyone? Does it, why does no one like the Patriot? <laughs> no one wants to be friends with the Patriot. Oh, man. Okay, what about... Perry and John. Does anyone want to be friends with Perry Saturn? Why are all our people so unlikable? No one wants to be friends in my company. What is going on? <laughs> it's either not going to work or it's going to backfire. Um, okay. What about the ladies? Can they become friends? Okay, there we go. Never mind. Worth we'll a try. Right, we're back in the Northwest. Now, we have two storylines going. We have Mr. USA, which is the Patriot and Pod Olsen. We also have the Rise of the Eliminators. So, who do we have here? Is that an announcer? Uh, oh, Mike Sharp. Is expensive. Rip Oliver. Probably also expensive. Yep. The Regal. Expensive, cool. I like our little team we have though. First things first, we'll get the Eliminators on the show. Perry Saturn and John Cronus, they are going to go up against. Put them up against Tom Brandt, Tommy Seabolt. It's been two weeks. Get them in this match. They are going to. Oh, John Cronus go over this time because I believe Perry went over last time. We'll have them both just dominate. And I guess this would be a storytelling match because the story is that the Eliminators are just incredible. That is going to lead into Woman. Of course, promoting the shit out of the Eliminators. She can have five minutes on the mic, but we will script her this time because she was a little rough the first time around. Our opening contest, we want Jerry Lynn because we have not used them yet. Who should he take on? Let's put him up against Rick Savage and see what happens. These guys can have 12 minutes. And Jerry Lynn will get the victory. I do want to see if we've got any people here. Okay, so Genie is our main eventer. Interesting. Our number one wrestler. Steve Deeves is going to end up being the next big thing. Tommy Brandy. Oh, okay. Perry Sands going to be exceptional. Of course he is. Lisa Moretti is a talker. The Patriot and Booker T. Okay. Good to know. The Patriot, with his upper back pain, is going to go into this match against... What can I think it's Vito? Vito LaGraciano. It's going to be a smaller match because the Patriot... Doesn't seem to be able to go that long, so he's going to go and steal the show. In between these guys. And he is going to get attacked by Tom Brandt. To get the Mr. USA... Oh, sorry, Todd Olsen. To get this Mr. USA uh, storyline going. Which means we do need to put Todd Olsen on the show somewhere. So, Todd Olsen, you need to be... Adam Flash. 
because I don't mind Adam Flash losing a lot because he's 20, so he is going to get his wins back at some point. And then I think we have to do Genie Vasson in our main event, surely. She's the uh, franchise of the company. She can take on Lisa Moretti. They'll go 10 minutes. What kind of match do we want them to have? <coughs> High spots, a wild brawl. Technical masterclass, mayhem. Car crash, no. Should we do high spots? Flashy aerial. No, that's not really them, is it? Not really a stunt show. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm not doing eye candy. They're definitely not a technical masterclass. Wild Brawl, maybe? Let's try it. Let's give them the Wild Brawl. And we're going to have Genie Basson cheat her way to victory. Over Lee. Hopefully, this show works for us. We've got no issues, so let's see what we got. Jerry Lynn has debuted his show, so the gimmick has got an adequate rating, but he got 54 match rating. That is awesome. Rick Savage debuted his biker gimmick, and it got very good. The only 27 rating. Todd Olsen and Adam Flash have great chemistry. That's awesome. His old school heel gimmick got a rate of great. That's perfect for our um, feud. Vito Lagracio has debuted his sub gimmick. He's got a very good rating. Nice. Patriot got a rating of 28. Vito got a rating of 37. We then have Mr. USA start with Todd Olsen beating down the Patriot. The Eliminators went out there and they did really well again. John Cronus got a 37. Perry Sang got a 32. That's awesome. John Cronus is putting on better performances though than Perry Sand at the moment, which I didn't expect, but I'll take it. Okay, women, women's promos need some work here. So segment rate of 19. And our main event, Jeannie Basson defeated Lisa Moretti. Lisa Moretti debuted our old school face game at Burgot Green. Poor. Okay. Well, despite being our number one wrestler, maybe. It could be because we did a world ball, to be fair. We're going to have to figure out how we're going to put these match cards together with what we have. Okay, let's praise the Patriot. Because he's been injured. Book and T didn't appear, so we'll give Jerry Lynn, because he did awesome. John Cronus was the other one who put on a great performance. Patriot seemed pleased, Jerry Lynn seemed pleased, and John Cronus seemed pleased. Okay, that brings us to the end. Did anything decent happen at the same time as us? It doesn't look like it. Nothing interesting. Klondike Kate's been released by the ASW UK. Unhappy Amy Lee. Okay, that's not in our company. That's fine. Last thing we need is some more tension in our company. How are our finances looking now that we've put on two shows this month? Minus 883. Okay, so not great. One thing I do want to do. We should get our merchandise going so we can start making some real money from these people. We're probably going to take a loss the first couple of months. But hopefully, things will kick back up. I reckon we can balance out this to zero by the end of the month, hopefully. Because we've got, what, eight days? Let's find out. Okay, there is a new stable in WWE. Or WWF at the time. Nature Boy Ric Flair, Brett the Hitman Hart, the Nasty Boys, Shawn Michaels and Mr. Perfect. That is a hell of a team. That's a hell of a stable. And they're all going to get squashed by a uh, hope. The WWE held the Royal Rumble. The match itself was won by Macho Man Randy Savage. But what else was on the card? The Legion of Doom defeated the Money Inc. to retain the tag titles. Skinner and the Natural Disaster defeated El Matador and the New Foundation. Brian Costello defeated Hercules. Jim Powers and Coco Beware defeated Brooklyn Baller and Chris Duffy. Dale Wolf defeated Luis Piccoli. B.A. Dalton defeated Chris Walker. On the pre-show, the Bushwhackers defeated Haku and Barbarian. And Tatanka defeated Papa Shango. I'd love to bring in Papa Shango. Let's watch Charles Wright. Just in case. Well, there you go. What a match. Hogan was in the Royal Rumble match. This match was for the WWF Royal Rumble title, yeah. Well, good on the match, man. 
Oh, this is awesome news. Hot property Lisa Moretti. Lisa Moretti has become an unlikely talking point in wrestling. After some industry veterans think of that as a future superstar. Her comments made on the radio show yesterday indicate that they feel the right hand least she could go far. Love to hear it. She's not over in our area yet, but we're going to work on that. Good old Lisa Moretti. Come on then, Ivory. Okay, so we have Dr. Wagner Jr. Uh, I was hoping we could get him to... Oh, he is currently unemployed. Awesome. Let's jump in here quick. How much is he going to cost? Oh, he thinks we're too small for him. I mean, we are. That's besides the point. At least we can get him to work in um, America now. I'd love to bring Dr. Wagner Jr. in. Okay, we are now in February. So let us see what Guitar Finance is. Minus 600. So we made a bit of a loss, but I do want to stick with doing two shows a month. I think that's the best way to gain our popularity back up. Yeah, nothing in ticket sales. Sponsors and merchandise, I think we can improve that, to be honest. I feel like we can definitely improve that. So I'm not too worried, especially with us now increasing our merchandise. It's going to be better than Ramshackle, which is awesome. <laughs> Um, that was the second show for Classic Championship Wrestling. Again, let me know in the comments what you want to see. Do you want to see us do every bit of news every day? Do you want to see the highlights like we did in this one? When it comes to booking, do you want to see us actually booking the show, or do you just want to see the show? And let me know if there's anyone you think should bring in, any uh, feuds you think we should get going, and all that sort of stuff. Either way, if you enjoyed, please drop me a like. That was awesome, amazing. If you're new and you're not subscribed, we are the Wrestling Hideout. We want to be the hub for all things wrestling, so whether that's fantasy booking, reviews, debates, just general shits and giggles, come and subscribe, and hopefully, we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.